Hello Taurus, welcome to your spring forecast for March, April, and May. And those of you in the southern hemisphere, your autumn forecast. Let's get right into your reading. Let's see what biggest change is coming to you during March, April, and May. Oh, and also Taurus, I had the wrong link to my angel channel, angel guidance channel in last video, but the link is correct in this video if you are interested in checking out that channel. So let's get into it, Taurus. Let's see what biggest change is coming to you guys March, April, and May. Okay, look at this. We got support coming through. Taurus, there's more support coming into your life over these next three months. And, you know... All of you need different types of support. This could be more emotional support. This could be help at your job if they've been really short-handed. Um, some of you, there may be something that you need to do, figure out, and somebody is going to help you with that. But this, in general, is you feeling more loved, more supported, more cared about, seen, and heard. You feel like... You have a voice, Taurus. And you feel like you finally have someone on your side where you need it the most right now. So that's beautiful. More love coming in for Taurus in these first uh or in these first three months of spring. In these three months of spring of March, April, May. A lot of support and love coming in for you. And I feel it's happening when you need it the most. So beautiful message. Let's see what else Spirit has to say about March, April, and May for Taurus. Ooh, I do want to mention Taurus. On 4-4, we have the Aries New Moon Solar Eclipse 4-4 Portal. So that is going to be powerful for each and every one of us. Big activations, revelations, truth being revealed, epiphanies, finally getting clarity, doors opening. All right, you've got a tulip. Take some time for yourself. Enjoy relaxation activities that nurture your soul. Taurus, also these uh, March, April, and May months are bringing more time to you. So you feel as though you have more time to do things that you like, that you enjoy, or that you need to take care of. So this would kind of go hand in hand, right? You're finally getting the support you need in the way that you need it, which is going to give you more time to pursue things that you want to indulge or you want to experience. It's like the, the right things are aligning for you, Taurus. Which really opens up your path for a lot of new stuff to come in. Things are aligning. And maybe some of you are feeling like, finally. But yeah, things are aligning for you, Taurus. Let's go month by month. For March, we have vision, visualize, imagine, foresee. Taurus, in the month of March, you may have some dreams of the future. You may have some clear cognizance about the future. Little insights, vision, feeling, intuition. And this is Spirit saying you are correct. So in the month of March, if you're feeling intuitively like led to do something, do that. Inspired action, follow through. Intuitive promptings, follow through. Because, wow, again, it's aligning you. 
March, April, and May are all about alignment. Everything like finally falling into place and you, you're feeling it and you're sensing it. And some of you might actually get snippets of visions, premonition, clairvoyance. And with that claircognizance, when just kind of out of nowhere, you know something, that's because your spiritual team has downloaded that for you to know, for you to see, for you to understand. And it, it holds some purpose for you further aligning to different things on your path. So in the month, month of March, pay attention to dreams, visions, in, intuition, different things you're sensing, signs, synchronicities, what's really calling to you, what's pulling your soul, and follow it through, Taurus. April, passion, Kindle glow, spark, ooh, Taurus. April could bring some love for my singles out there, okay? But also, Taurus, in the month of April, I'm not surprised to see this because we have that um, portal eclipse taking place. Something is igniting within you, okay? You're going to feel the spark of life, a passion for something and you're meant to follow it whatever is just bringing you to life activating igniting you within in the month of April follow that Taurus it is your sign and you know any sort of dream goal or change that you want to bring into your life having great passion for it is magic in doing your talents, your abilities, your hobbies, have great passion and it, it can just grow into so much more. Have passion for yourself, have passion for life. There's something really positive that's taking place in April and it's like igniting you, returning you to hope, optimism, excitement, passion. And May, when we are in your season, we have creation, joy, dreams, momentum. Dreams are coming true, Taurus. Things are aligning here. And, um, you know, we co-create with the universe, with spirit. And so that's why it's very important. Any intuitive promptings, inspired action that you're feeling in March, April, or May that you act upon and you follow through. We have vision, passion, creation. Your vision of what you want for your life. Have great passion for it and you will manifest it. And make sure that you are giving yourself enough time because when we are involved with a lot of different people, a lot of different situations, a lot of different projects at once, it can really splinter our energy. And then therefore, it's like we don't have enough juice for our own manifestations and creations and changes that we wanna make in our life. And so with this support coming in, Taurus, I feel like this is either something you are actively doing where you're going to um, get an assistant, um, more help at work, maybe hire a nanny, a gardener, like something. Some of you are actively taking steps towards that. And for others of you, this is just something that's very naturally aligning. And with this added support, it's going to allow you to give more time to you and your dreams and your goals and your desires because this is a very potent time for you. You're a magic manifester and the universe is aligning for you. Use this time to your advantage, Taurus. You are powerful. And I'm telling you, when you have passion, true passion, you're putting your mind and your heart into something Something will manifest from that. All right, so we have the Four of Cups for March. So pay attention, Taurus. Like, this is a card where, you know, things are okay. 
they could be better they could also be worse they're just kind of okay that's how you're starting merch but remember these visions these ideas these intuitive promptings are getting you out of this four of cups energy because you're finally getting like the support you need yeah and look at hanged man Taurus, you're going to get what you need so that you don't have to keep putting yourself, your wants, and your needs on the back burner. I feel like that's kind of what's happened is there's just not enough of you, enough time in the day. And finally, the support you need to, you know, give you more time is happening. Oh, nice. And then look at May, the wheel, wheel of fortune. You're going to manifest in May blessing, manifestation, happiness, your creation finally coming into form in the month of May, Taurus. So it's going to be a very prosperous spring for you, a spring or autumn, just depending on where you live in the world. Very prosperous. Some of you finally believing in yourself too. We got the Tower, Unexpected, Taurus. We got the King of Wands. The High Priestess. And the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so this King of Wands, this is you taking action from which you are feeling intuitively through this high priestess, okay? And with this tower, the way the support is coming in for you or the way things are starting to align for you, you really don't see coming. It, it surprises you, okay? But as you're taking action and following through on what you're feeling, it's leading you to the nine of pentacles. Abundance, luxury, comfort, happiness, stability, independence, feeling good. And you got the uh, Wheel of Fortune also. May isn't going to be an amazing month for you with Wheel of Fortune and Nine of Pentacles. And the Wheel is finally turning in your favor. Your energies, your efforts now starting to pay off. Which is only going to increase your energy and your optimism and your excitement and your passion for what's happening. Taurus, something unexpected is truly leading you into some magic here. All right, let's pull more cards. Let's clarify. Yes, look at the Three of Cups jumped. Celebration. Harmony. The Sunflowers. Yes, March, April, and May. Three months. These three months are going to be a big game changer for you. The way things look in your life as you start March are going to be looking very different as you exit May and go into June. There's going to be a lot to celebrate. A lot's getting accomplished. A lot is changing. Okay, so now we have of the Four of Pentacles. So we have the Four of Cups and the Four of Pentacles. Fours are all about stability, a strong foundation, and also um, April is the fourth month, and on 4-4, four, four, on 4-4, four, four, we have that uh, eclipse with the portal open, okay? So April is a very significant month, and I feel that's when this tower energy plays out, 
Okay, the unexpected coming in in a positive way for you, remember. Okay, and so now we have this Queen of Cups. Two of Swords. And Queen of Swords. Taurus, when you cannot see ahead, that's when you've really got to tap into your intuition. When you're confused, when you don't know what to do, when you don't know what the right answer is, your intuition will lead you. You've got to quiet your mind and really tap in, okay? Because I see you're on point. And you've got a lot of feminine energy coming through in this reading with the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Swords, and the High Priestess, which tells me whether you're masculine or feminine, you need to connect in to your water chakra, your sacral chakra, okay, where you're feeling things where you're fertile, where you're creative, where you're empathetic, where you feel everything. You need to tap into that part of you because it's going to lead you forward. It's also going to inspire some ideas for yourself, for your life that are not currently in your conscious mind. And there are some unexpected events here that are really going to be a catalyst to get energy moving for you and for those of you that where this is an actual person coming in to support you it could be this uh king of wands queen of cups or queen of swords if it's the king of wands this is somebody who is a leader can handle a lot is intelligent is charismatic high energy can get a lot done you can trust this person. If it's this Queen of Cups, this is somebody who is very sensitive, intuitive, loving, compassionate, has your best interest at heart. If it's this Queen of Swords, this is somebody who is very intelligent and acts more upon logic than their heart, okay? But they are a wealth of wisdom. They're very trustworthy. They do things the right way. So for those of you where there's some support coming in, it's good energy. And at any point where you feel lost or confused, Taurus, I'm telling you, tap into your intuition. Because it's going to show you. I mean, we got visions right there. It's going to show you. Oh, a blessing on the heart's calling. Mm -hmm. The dreams of your heart, Taurus, they are ready to come to life. And we see that vision, passion, creation. Believe in yourself. Believe in your dreams. Believe in the potential of you, of your life, and what could be. Because a blessing on a heart's calling. Something is calling to you, Taurus. And it looks really good with this Wheel of Fortune and this Nine of Pentacles. But it's like you got to take actions towards it. And you feel those actions intuitively. And look at the three little birds. Yes, these three months are powerful and potent. Oh, sorry, I didn't show you the butterfly. This butterfly comes with a message of... The door that closes for me is the wrong door. The door that opens for me is the right door. So a door is opening, Taurus. Next is this butterfly with a message of, I dare to dream of wonderful things happening in my life. Yes, how perfect is that? And here's the last butterfly with the message of, I don't need to control life. I trust in magic and miracles. Oh my gosh, Taurus, yes. You're on to something. You're feeling it. You're getting the support you need. You're going to have more time on your hands to pursue your passions, your dreams, your goals, make a change or get your life feeling more balanced, more in order. And, you know, you land with the Wheel of Fortune and the Nine of Pentacles. Very lucky energy, feeling fortunate, feeling blessed, feeling like you have enough. All right, so those are your messages, Taurus. I am sending you a lot of love and light. Take care.